On the 27th September, the Ruto administration availed their choices of cabinet secretaries. Of the total number, only seven women were named, contrary to the campaign promise of a 50-50 cabinet. I hear there was an MOU to, to name from the clergy, members of the clergy, a CS for religious affairs. It could be another breach <laughs> of an MOU. Moreover, the selection of cabinet secretaries, some of whom have amazingly, amazingly active criminal cases, is unquestionable. What are you asking our parliamentarians to do? Honestly, to go into the committees, compromise them with money here and money here, and actually approve people with criminal cases. If I was William Ruta, I would withdraw some of this immediately to avoid national shame and even international shame. This was not procedurally done on the basis of competencies and personal integrity. We shall direct our MPs to withhold approval of those who do not meet the Chapter 6 threshold of our Constitution. Finally, dear Kenyans and leaders assembled here, and you members of the fourth estate. On the back of this heavily contested election, the deficiencies that exist within the judicial and electoral systems needs to be immediately addressed. We must reform, and I cannot overemphasize the word must, in the light of what we now know. We must reform the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission IEBC, to be able to, by chance, going forward, guarantee our children free, fair, and credible elections.